today, you will witness the birth of a brand new weapon. This new gas covers the body like ash, seeping into the skin and instantly paralyzing its victim. Not a single one of them is going to escape. Show me more. I want to see Hell on Earth. Hello and welcome to One Piece 101, the series that breaks down everyone and everything in the One Piece world. Today, we are going to examine the deranged scientist, Caesar Clown. Caesar Clown is a very tall and maniacal looking fellow who was first introduced into the series as the primary antagonist of the Punk Hazard arc. He is an incredibly cruel, sadistic, and all around horrible individual who very much encapsulates the traditional meaning of the word evil. And we'll see exactly why as the video goes on. Despite those tendencies though, Caesar has nothing short of a brilliant scientific mind, capable of absolutely extraordinary feats, although those efforts are mostly focused on death and destruction. In fact, the earliest known information we currently have in regards to Caesar was that he worked alongside the legendary figure that is Dr. Vegapunk on Punk Hazard, back when it was a more habitable island. However, Caesar, being Caesar, spent most of his time here developing a powerful chemical weapon, which he was told to cease due to it being highly illegal. However, Caesar refused, and as a result, he was removed from Vegapunk's team. And this decision did not work out for the world government at all, as after being sacked, Caesar decided to detonate his weapon on Punk Hazard, which not only destroyed two of the laboratories, but covered the entire island in poisonous gas, forcing the world government to abandon it. And while they did manage to locate and arrest Caesar, he subsequently escaped escaped, and a year after the incident, he returned to Punk Hazard. Now, luckily for him, Caesar just so happened to possess a devil fruit known as the Gasu Gasunumi, which allowed him to purify the air on the island by an intriguing means, which we'll get to in a second. But the Gasu Gasunumi is particularly notable because it has actually been augmented by Caesar, and thus we have no real way of knowing what the original abilities of the fruit are. However, Caesar's use of the fruit is terrifyingly powerful, as he is capable of conjuring highly poisonous gas, which he can use for both offensive and defensive purposes, or to simply enshroud himself in it for the ever important sake of fashion. Caesar is also capable of feats such as removing all oxygen from the air surrounding him and asphyxiating any poor souls unfortunate enough to be caught within this radius. In fact, this particular technique was used to defeat Luffy, Smoker, Toshigi, Frankie, and Robin all instantaneously upon first use. But he can also use these abilities to achieve a wide variety of deadly machinations and even absorb other gases into himself to create an entirely new form, but more on that later. As for right now, while it appeared that Caesar had removed the poison from Punk Hazard, what he actually did was compress it into a sentient being, a adorably known as Smiley. This was achieved by Caesar using Vegapunk's research and mixing the gas with a Zoan type devil fruit, an axolotl fruit to be precise. But with the entire island free to be used for his own nefarious purposes, Caesar was commissioned by the Onko Big Mom to conduct research on gigantification, which resulted in him commencing experimentation on kidnapped children. Classic good guy Caesar move there. However, Caesar was unable to successfully complete the gigantification process, and he simply began embezzling Big Mom's research fund, spending it on lavish evenings featuring women and alcohol, as well as consistently lying to Big Mom about the progress of the project. Not a great idea, and this will come back to bite him. At the same time though, Caesar began a much more successful collaboration with Warlord of the Sea, Don Quixote Do Flamingo, and by association, another of the Yonko, Kaido. His mission this time was more or less to create artificial Zoan type devil fruits for Kaido's crew, the Beast Pirates. And to accomplish this, Caesar innovated a substance known as Sad, which became a key component in creating the artificial devil fruits, which were dubbed as Smiles. Once again, Vegapunk's research was integral in this endeavor, as he had once created his own devil fruit, and even though Caesar used this to his advantage, his creations never came anywhere close to Vegapunk's. Despite that, everything was going just swell for quite some time until the uh, Straw Hats landed on Punk Hazard, formed an alliance with Trafalgar Law, and defeated and captured Caesar. During this effort, Caesar once again launched his deadly chemical weapon, although it was new and improved. But eventually, Caesar resorted to absorbing it to combat Luffy, however, he was still well and truly overwhelmed by the Straw Hat Captain. Caesar would then be used as a bargaining chip in Law's revenge plot against Doflamingo. However, after that didn't quite go as expected, Caesar was forced back aboard the Thousand Sunny and taken to Zo, with half of the Straw Hats led by Sanji. Upon arrival on Zo, they found the Phantom Island devastated by a chemical weapon known as Koro, which was originally created by, guess who? Yeah this dick. And although Caesar wasn't the one who used the weapon, he was certainly thrilled to see its results before being promptly chastised and being forced to create an antidote to save the members of the Mink tribe. Shortly after this though, Caesar would be abducted from his abductors by Capone Gang Beige, a member of the worst generation who was working under the Big Mom Pirates. You know, that Yonko that Caesar stole incredible quantities of money from. 
He was then taken to Whole Cake Island and brought before Big Mom herself, who revealed that she had created a new laboratory for his gigantification research and gave him a mere fortnight to complete it. During this time, Caesar was approached by Capone Gang Beige to lend his powers to a plot to assassinate Big Mom. And thus Caesar became a temporary member of the Fire Tank Pirates, adopting the guise of Gangster Gastino and formed an integral part in the assassination attempt. I say attempt because it failed spectacularly. However, if it were not for Caesar, then the entirety of the Fire Tank Pirates and half of the Straw Hats would have had next to no chance of escaping Whole Cake Island. However, with their failed plan, the Alliance dissolved and Caesar went off on his own, not to be seen again during Whole Cake Island. Some more fun facts about Caesar Clown. Despite his clear inferiority to Dr. Vegapunk, Caesar Clown has been recognized as the world's leading expert on chemical weapons of mass destruction. So that's, that's one area in which he trumps his old rival, although it is almost certainly because Vegapunk has no interest in creating such things. After escaping from the world government, a hefty bounty of 300 million berries was issued on Caesar Clown's head. Caesar's character carries a general regal theme, with his name being taken from the title for Roman emperors, a cognomen of Julius Caesar. Furthermore, the clown portion of his name can also be Romanized as crown, and he is the self-proclaimed king of Shinokuni, literally meaning the land of death. And finally, a truly useless fact, Caesar Clown was once described by Vice Admiral Smoker as one very crazy bastard. But that pretty much does it for Caesar Clown. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with who, what, or where you'd like to see featured on the next One Piece 101.